Please welcome the lovely Jennifer Esposito, everybody. Jennifer Esposito. Very nice. I like your dress. Thank you. I like it too. Were you wearing a necklace before you? Yes. Came out? The men in the back were like, "Oh, it jingles. You should take it off." And they're like, "Your dress is too bright. Take it off." They said that. Uh, <laughs> the men that work back there aren't trying to and get I was your like, dress off. I don't off. think that's right. No, no. And then, then you came and got me. Yeah, I came. Thank and got you. I'd get out of there because if the guys back there take get you you out of your dress, they'll take your dress and run away. I know. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from New York, from Brooklyn. Yes, I kind of thought you might be from really? New York. Really? Yeah. I don't know, you have that kind of New York energy yes, about you. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. Thank goodness. Do you, do you miss it? I do miss it. I miss it. I, but I can't, I can't um, talk bad about L.A. anymore. I, I, honestly, I don't mind L.A. now. No, I, I don't. you to talk bad about but, L.A. But, but, but usually, because I love New York so much and I miss it when, when I'm not there, that I'll, I'll be like, oh, L.A. Well, but you they know, won't you, let me back here well, if, I, if get, I don't stop. You can get, uh, you know, uh, there's streets in L.A. that smell a bit like pee-pee. Exactly. Then... I love it. And then I feel like yeah, home. You're right there. I love it. I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Have you yeah. gone into any of the L.A. lifestyle? Have you got any kind of like surfing or um No. Yeah, no. No, that people tell me to hike all the time. But you I don't take a hike? hike? Like I don't want to hike. No. <laughs> no, they're like, it's great. You can hike. It's like you, the selling point. I know it's I funny. say I don't want to hike. Don't make me hike. I don't want to hike. You don't you don't have to hike. Well look, there are lovely hills lovely all hills. over the uh it's really amazing. the hiking trails past it's really the uh, amazing. all the things there. It's really fantastic. Yeah, it's a lovely view, isn't it? It really is. I do like nice it. Nice setup. How long have you been here? I have been, I, well, I go back and forth. I, I Wait, leave, are you actually. bi curious? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, um, no, I leave tonight. Uh, my apartment's tonight? St still in New York, yeah, right after this. Even, even though it's 12 30, depending oh, on your yeah, time no. zone? Oh, yeah, no. Private, private jet takes oh, private me right jet. back at 1 in the morning. Right. Yeah. To, and you go back tonight, and then we, when, to well, where do you shoot your... Uh, we shoot here, right. um, but we're on a little bit of a break. Right. So I'll go back and, and stay in New York for a little while. What do you do when you're there? Do you go running around Central Park crazy. with the Olympic torch? Yes. The Olympics yes. are coming! Like, hey, everyone! No, um, no, I, I just love being there. Restaurants and friends. What and... restaurants do you like in, in uh, New York City? Oh, my God. My friend Frank is going to be very happy. It's a place called Little Frank's and Supper. And, um, Little and Frank's and Supper? Little Frank's and Supper. He owns two restaurants. Oh, right, 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 three. right, right. And it's just, it's wonderful. What it's in the East food Village. Is it? It's oh, Italian. I used to live in the East Village. I love it. I'm right over there. I, I used to live on 11th Street between 1st uh, and 2nd. Oh, that's uh, weird. You, you know on the... 10th Street. Stop it. Yep. <laughs> Do you know the you know the bakery, Venera's Bakery? Yes, of course. I used to live right wait, above wait, that. Wait, I used to live up the street. My first apartment was 11th Street, right up the street. I used to go and they used to make the the first cannolis. Yeah, we were neighbors. I didn't, I didn't know that what, what cannolis were then. I just went pastry. Yeah, you're like, yeah. I love that. <laughs> Yes. And I, I, I used to go, right did you go there. to the Ritz, uh, the, the club that used to be up the street? Maybe I'm a bit older than you, I think. The, the Ritz used to be up there. And we also, the Ramones and stuff would be on Oh, there. I don't know that. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. They were, a, they were a pop group. That's so weird. They... <laughs> I know that. Did you live in the East Village when it was uh, very dangerous? Though? Yes. Yeah, me too. Yes. I think it was dangerous because I lived I, there. Well, I, me too. You know what? Was this you? I had, I had to move because we had, like, <laughs> we had a landing out side of our window and we found a man living out there and watching us for about two weeks. Was that? You look familiar. <laughs> Alright, let me just see, does this help? That was it! <laughs> that's you! Oh my I swear that's why we He was we living had, on your fire He was escape? living out, out right on that little landing. And we didn't know because it was, it was pitch black and we, we never saw anything. What and in the landing? day he would, it was like, um, you know how all the buildings are so Yeah, the, the fire together. escape is outside. Yes, right. but there was, a, there was like a little landing and then another building started. And oh. he was living out there and one day tried to get in the apartment. And um, there what, was... to a, use the espresso machine? Yeah, I guess so. Oh. And uh, he, someone called the cops and he left his duffel bag and he had just 
been released out of a, a detention facility like oh, two weeks dear. prior. So I left the East Village at that point. Really? Yes. No, what, what part of New York are you in now then? Um, I moved a few Back blocks to the East away. <laughs> like, no. well, you know, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was fine. Five yeah. blocks away, it'll change everything. Did you ever yeah. go down? There used to be a nightclub. Oh, there's a great restaurant as well yeah. on uh, Avenue A called Odessa. Do you ever go to I Odessa? I don't know that one. Odessa is, uh, I don't know if it's still there. Do you know Odessa? Odessa is, um, it's a, uh, he works here. And they, uh, producer or something. Uh. Uh, anyway, the, uh, the uh, Odessa, the, that's where I had first had cold soup. Really? Yeah, I was like, hey, this soup is cold. They're like, it's borscht. I don't like cold soup. I don't know. I kind of liked it. It really? was cold and red. Not for me. Yeah, it was like chilled blood. Ooh. <laughs> That's it could have, it, it could have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, And the especially. Pyramid Club, did you ever go to the Pyramid Club? No. Do you sure you lived in I'm sure. Village? I think when I was, when I had that first apartment, I was probably 21. Me too, I was 21. Yeah. But I, was, I think I was 21 a little ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Do you remember the invention of the flying machine? <laughs> no. Oh, that was a big day in the East Village. <laughs> what the hell is that? It was awesome. Really? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the show. The uh... um, Samantha Who? Yes. It's fun. It's it's awesome. She has amnesia and she's coming back and relearning all these things and realizing that she was a pretty despicable character before. It's like me when I got sober. Yeah. <laughs> And then I was just a despicable character right. anyway, after right. I got sober. But you, knew, but you knew you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at least I, I yeah. knew who I was being despicable exactly. too. Exactly. Well, yeah. she, yeah, so she's trying to regain her life, and, and I was her best friend before, and I was pretty despicable, and I, I'm still pretty despicable, and, and self-centered, and just drunk all and the time. And adorable. <laughs> no, that's, that. well, it sounds fantastic. It's, it's thank fun. you for coming in. Good thank luck with the show. It's lovely me. to meet you. Thank a lovely you. Jennifer Esposito, everybody. We'll be right back. Please welcome the lovely Jennifer Esposito, everyone. Jennifer, it's now you, you're putting you. on your own microphone because Chris, our sound man, is grabby. Is that right? Yes. Chris, is this <laughs> on right? It doesn't seem like it's on right to me. Come out here and do this, right? Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Is, is, Chris hates me now. Oh, I, beautiful. Is that right? <laughs> All right. Are you Thank on a microphone? You. No. Then stop talking. <laughs> You think he'd know? I know. It's lovely to see you. How have you been? Lovely to see you. I'm great. You go, I love your dress. Thank you. It's very leopardy. Thank you. Jamal made it. Project Jamal? Runway. Really? No, I wish he did. I love oh. him so much. I was so upset, like you. Oh, Jarrell. Jarrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I love him. I don't know his name, but I love yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's show business. You don't need to know someone's no, name to I love, love him, him. though. I can't believe you got. Like, Are you a Project Runway fan? Yes. <gasps> Let's dish. You're, so, you're, I'm. You're on. <laughs> When she says that, but I have to really? say, I'm watching it last night, and Kenley, uh, who I, I've got to be honest, has, has been annoying me since maybe since the beginning. For week one. Yeah, just and just a kind of opinionated. I agree. Angry. Nasty pants. I call her. Great nasty pants. designer. Yes. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulously talented, and I, I just no denying it. And I think is that does that ever happen in show business where someone who's very talented is a complete jerk? No. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> and I haven't met any of them. No. no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, it really was upsetting. I think she's good, but not as talented as him. Oh so. no, I think I think Jarell let himself down with that wedding dress last oh, night. Sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, you got to be fair. <laughs> You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. I know that. I know. I love it. Yeah. I love that you know this. I know that. I follow this like real men follow football. I love it. <laughs> we should have a Project Runway party. There's no need for that. No. No. Okay. Project Runway is not funny. It's very serious. serious yeah. You're right. It's not a party. Right. It's, mm -hmm. it's very serious. I no. agree. I love it though. It really is. I'm sad Are you a big him. fan of the fashion? Clearly, you are. You're I I am. I love. I'm a big fan of um, vintage. I'm vintage. This is a vintage. Thing. Really? How old is it? Yeah. It's. Uh... <laughs> Is that um, yes, no, you're right. It, I think this particular is from the 80s. Actually from the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, 1980. Really? Yeah. I thought all the clothes from the 80s had to be, you know, incinerated for the cocaine yes. content. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it comes with party favors, my dress. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. yes. Well, the shoulder pads are there, so you know it's Are you wearing shoulder pads? Yes. May I touch them? Go ahead. Okay. Isn't that crazy? That's a little nuts. Yeah, it's kind of great. It's kind of, it's good. <laughs> you know what you could do? You could get a little, um, parrot. Uh, yes! <laughs> with this album, it would be fantastic, Yeah, get, get actually. yourself a little parrot. Do you ever see these guys that go into uh, Starbucks with the parrots so that people will talk to them? To be quite honest, I saw one um, the other day on the street. Really? And uh, the, I'm so serious. There was a pole that he had a pole and the parrot, and they were just sitting there on the edge of the sidewalk. I was like, well, okay. No, you know, <laughs> All right. he wants you to go and talk to him. Is that what it is? Sure, he didn't spend all that money on a parrot because he likes parrots. <laughs> Probably true, yeah. It's like, there's a hot chick, get my parrot out. Like, I mean, that's, that's that what happens. That can get you in trouble. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> no, I, I, or, do, do you have a pet? I, I have two. I have um, uh, Frankie Beans, which is a golden retriever, and a Burmese ma uh, mountain dog named Betty Boop. A what mountain dog? Burmese mountain Burmese dog. Burmese mountain dog. They're right. gorgeous, I love Are they, them. I'm not familiar with what they look like. Oh, just a furry? Are big they furry? furry mess. Farty? Are they, are they farty? Farty, burpy, yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. <laughs> and what's I the other one, a, a lab? A uh, golden retriever. I like golden retrievers, oh, but let's so be honest, sweet. they're not smart. No, actually, he's really smart. She For is, a golden retriever. She's a little... <laughs> she, no, she's, she's really not bright. The Burmese, the Burmese mountain, mountain dog? dog. Yeah. Well, she, how smart do you need to be? Go up and down mountains, really. Exactly. Whereas exactly. a retriever has to go and get stuff get and stuff. bring it back. That's my, that's it. He does. He just doesn't know how to then leave it, like give it to you. So, he'll so what get criteria it and then are run. we basing his smartness on if he can't even retrieve and he's a golden retriever? Well, he can hug me. He hugs me in the I morning. I can hug you and I ain't right. <laughs> that, that's good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's right, You're Daddy's right. here. You're yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, no, see, that's why I don't great. need a parrot. You, you see? really don't need a parrot. No, I don't. You don't. No. So, what are you doing Quick. with the man then? Are you dating? No, no, I'm not actually really? right now. Why? Yes, What's isn't that a shame? No, what? I, it's, I'd say it was a waste, quite frankly. I but yeah, agree. No. What are you doing later? <laughs> Later. Let's go over here now. Jennifer Esposito, everybody, one more My favourite trip to Paris was the time I went drunk bungee jumping off the Eiffel Tower. Well, not, well, not so much jumping as falling a thousand feet. I survived by landing on a mine. <laughs> so in a way you could say it was a public service. That was Sean Connery's Parisian Memories. I love that.